the neutrino. That's a, that's a spooky one. It would take 26 years to discover it. Why? Because the neutrino hardly interacts with anything. It comes out of a nuclear reaction and the particle just escapes. It is fast moving, it is ghost-like, it's made in abundance in the sun's core. And it's made in even higher quantities when a star dies in, its, in an explosion, a supernova explosion. If Betelgeuse does go supernova, what would it look like? The star is around 500 light years away and following an explosion, we could experience neutrino rain on Earth. In this video, we'll delve into what neutrino rain is and how harmful they are to us. Welcome to Astro World, where stargazing stories are told. Betelgeuse, the bright red star in the Orion constellation, has been acting a bit strange lately. In late 2019 and 2020, it went moody and dimmed down more than ever before. It even got fainter than Bellatrix, Orion's third brightest star. This cosmic dimming extravaganza earned the catchy name The Great Dimming. But fear not, Betelgeuse regained its stellar glow and bounced back to brightness. At one point this year, it shone brighter than ever, stealing the spotlight as the brightest star in Orion. These dramatic fluctuations sparked wild speculation about an imminent supernova. Is there any evidence to support this explosive idea? And more importantly, how would it affect us here on Earth? Generally, stars are pretty stable creatures, shining with consistent brightness year after year. But like rebellious teenagers, some stars like to break the rules. We call them variable stars because they change their brightness levels. Mira, the Star of Wonder, discovered way back in 1596, is a prime example. It's a pulsating star that likes to expand and contract, showing off its celestial dance moves. Another notable variable star is Algol, which gets periodically eclipsed by its companion star. With around 30 variable stars visible to the naked eye, spotting their brightness changes requires some attentive stargazing skills. Betelgeuse, the seventh brightest star in the sky, excluding our sun, is the champion of variable stars. Sometimes it almost matches the brilliance of Rigel, the fourth brightest star in Orion, and at other times, it decides to be a bit shy and dims down. This light show is caused by pulsations, not as grand as Myra's, but still worth an astronomical round of applause. But occasionally, a star goes all out and becomes insanely bright. These stars are the supernovas, the rock stars of the cosmic stage, ending their lives with an explosive grand finale. Supernovas can be so bright that they can even outshine the sun during the day, though that's a rare spectacle. Astronomers dream of witnessing a nearby supernova, but for most of us, it's like chasing a shooting star. Now, back to Betelgeuse's mysterious behavior. While it's a variable star, the great dimming in 2021 was off the charts. It dimmed by a whopping 60% in just a few months. The culprit behind this cosmic magic trick turned out to be a cloud. Stars like Betelgeuse often have gas and dust swirling around them. In this case, a massive clump of gas, as large as the star itself, decided to photobomb half of Betelgeuse, making it look like it had lost some stellar weight. The sudden brightening that followed the dimming frenzy is still a cosmic enigma. Betelgeuse is now 50% brighter than usual, and we're not entirely sure why. Some astronomers think it might be the same dust cloud causing this dazzling effect. The cloud could be reflecting the star's light back at us, making it appear brighter than ever. However, despite all the excitement, the chances of a supernova explosion happening soon are slim. Supernovas are triggered in the core of stars like Betelgeuse, while brightness variations are more of a surface phenomenon. So, we might have to wait a million years or more before the ultimate grand finale. But hey, Betelgeuse might still have some surprises up its celestial sleeves. We don't know its exact mass and even its distance is up for debate. Some folks argue that it recently merged with a smaller companion, which could explain its unexpected speed of rotation. The neutrino. This enormous array of light detectors surrounding 50,000 tons of distilled water is a trap designed to catch neutrinos only. 
little particles, such as cosmic rays, mostly protons and electrons that rain down from space, cannot get through all that rock above us. But matter poses no obstacle to a neutrino. A neutrino could pass through a hundred light years of steel without even slowing down. Now, picture this. If Betelgeuse does go supernova, what would it look like? Well, this star is about 500 light years away, so it's not in our cosmic backyard. After the explosion, the first thing we'd experience is a rain of tiny particles called neutrinos. Don't worry though, they're harmless to us Earthlings. Shortly after, Betelgeuse would go all out and shine as bright as a full moon for about one or two weeks. Imagine having a celestial disco ball lighting up the night sky. But as time goes on, the star would gradually fade over several months, still visible in the daytime for 6 to 12 months. And at night, you could catch a glimpse of it with the naked eye for another 1 or 2 years. After that, Betelgeuse would bid us farewell, and Orion would lose its radiant red sparkle forever. Let's talk about safety. Should we be concerned about the effects of a supernova on Earth? Well, supernovas produce cosmic rays, high-energy particles that can pierce through the Earth's magnetic field. But this isn't a cause for alarm, folks, because the amounts would be quite small, especially for all but the nearest supernovas. A supernova explosion would also create radioactive iron. We've actually found traces of this cosmic substance on Earth's seabed and even on the moon. It's believed to have formed in a supernova explosion that occurred between 2 and 3 million years ago, about 300 light years away from us. So, while it left its mark, it didn't cause any major problems for life on Earth. Now, a supernova closer than 30 light years could indeed spell trouble. Cosmic rays could wreak havoc on our ozone layer, leading to dangerous levels of UV radiation. This could cause some serious ozone depletion, lasting hundreds to thousands of years and potentially causing an extinction event. But fret not, because such a close supernova is incredibly rare, occurring maybe once every billion years. So, in the grand scheme of things, Betelgeuse might still have plenty of time left in the cosmic limelight. And that's great news because this star is a captivating mystery that keeps us all guessing. We still have so much to learn from the enigmatic Betelgeuse, so let's keep our eyes on the skies and stay curious. That's it for today's video. What are your thoughts? Let us know what you think in the comments below. And hey, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Your support helps us reach more people with our content. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more updates.